All right, guys, we're ready to do our final game of card sharks. This will be episode season three, episode number forty-six. And uh, we've been having some shocking stuff this season. Kyle actually went higher for the ace. He changed his mind quickly, and it cost him. But there's another game, and we have Kyle Hershen, yeah, who is the champion with two thousand dollars. And our new yeah. challenger, who has never played on my games before, is Cameron Henry. How you doing, Cameron? Awesome. Why don't you tell the viewers about yourself? Well, um, if you watch Mega Fortune over on Gary's side, you may notice that I do all the uh, intros and outros and things like that. And uh, mm -hmm. last time I was here, I think, was a couple months ago, and we did press your luck on this side, so... Yeah, yeah. Be back. All right. Are you ready to go, uh, Cameron? Uh huh. Do you know how to play card sharks? I sure do. Well, I won't have to explain it. Let's just get into the game. It's the best two out of three match. Player wins two games or two thousand dollars. We'll go under the money cards for one hundred forty-four thousand. And Kyle, you're up first. We asked okay. one. We asked 100 married men, do you have to fight your wife for the bed covers at night? How many men said they have to fight the wife for the bed covers at night? Roddy, that happened to you. Has that happened to me? It has, yes. 62. Going 62. Okay, Cameron, is it higher or lower than 62? Um, I guess a little lower. A little lower, okay. Let's check it out. The actual number of men that said that they do, they have fought with their wife for the bed covers at night is 47. It is lower. Good job, uh, Cameron. Okay, your opening card, Cameron, is a two. Uh, well, it's obvious. Let's go higher. Right, higher than a two is a seven. Freeze in right there, keeping Kyle away from his cards. And Cameron, this is your question. Cameron, we asked 100 single women, have you ever said to a girlfriend, I just love your new hairdo, when you really thought it was just awful? How many women they, how many women admit they have? No, it's actually, they was talking to their girlfriend. I'll repeat it again. We asked 100 single women, have you ever said to a girlfriend, I just love your new hairdo, when you really thought it was just awful? How many women admit they have? Uh, doesn't matter who you are, you just, it's just good manners keep you from doing that. I think I'll yeah. say, mm. Fifty-one. Going fifty-one. Okay, Kyle, what do you think? Is it higher or lower than fifty-one? Higher. Going higher. Let's check it out. The actual number of women that said that they have admitted that they uh, compliment a woman's hairdo, but they thought it was really awful, is forty-eight. It is not higher, a little lower. Okay, Cameron, you get control again. You have that seven. What do you want to do with that seven? Get rid of it. All right, when you win the question, you can change the card. The seven becomes a king. Lower. Lower than a king. It's a queen. Still lower. Lower than a queen. It's a ten. Uh, I'll go for it. Lower. For the first game at a thousand dollars, lower than a ten. Yeah, good job, Cameron. Gutsy Ooh. move, good gutsy move. You have a thousand dollars, Cameron. Good job. So you just one game to go in order. You just one game away from winning the championship. 
All right, we go to our next round, and the question goes to you, Kyle. You need this game to stick around. Mm -hmm. Okay, we asked 100 teenagers who live in Beverly Hills, one of the wealthiest communities in the country, have you ever paid another kid to do your homework? How many Beverly Hills teenagers have paid another kid to do their homework? Um, I'll try 39. Going with 39. Cameron, is it high or lower than 39? Hmm. Higher. Going higher. Okay, let's check it out. The actual number of teenagers that have paid another kid to do their homework is 11 it is not higher, it is lower. All right, Kyle, you're up and you have that four. What do you want to do with that? Let's go higher. Higher than a four. He says no. Higher than a four is a king. Lower. Lower than a king. No, a double. <laughs> All right, Cameron, free chance. You have that four. Higher than the four. Higher than the four. Is a queen. Lower. Lower than a queen. It's a six. Hold it right there. Okay, he's protecting his position. And we fill up the cards for Kyle. And we go on with the next question. It goes to you, Cameron. And cross this question out. And here we go. Cameron, your question. We ask one single women, have you ever said no to a man, but later wish you had said yes? How many women said they have done that? Forty-four. We're on forty-four. Kyle, is it higher or lower than forty-four? I'll go lower. Lower. Okay, let's check it out. The actual number of women that said no to a man but later wish they had said yes is 65 is not lower, it's higher. <coughs> All right, uh, Cameron, you have that six. What do you want to do with that six? Uh, go away, go away. He's changing it. The six becomes a three. Higher. Higher than a three. It's an eight. Oh, God. Uh, let's freeze it again. Freezing it. Protecting his position. Keeping Kyle away from his cards. And this question goes to you, Kyle. Okay. Kyle, we asked 100 commercial airline pilots. Has your automobile driver's license ever been revoked? How many pilots said their driver's license have been revoked? Who? I'll say... 32. Going 32. Cameron, is it higher or lower than 32? Let's go lower. Lower. Okay, let's check it out. The actual number of pilots that said their driver license has been revoked is five. It is low. Good job, Cameron. Oh, no. Cameron, you have that eight. What do you want to do with that no. eight? Bye-bye. Bye-bye to the eight. The eight becomes an eight. Lower. To, double, double. To be a new champion, lower than an ace. It's a nine. You're the new champion, Cameron. Ooh. All right, Cameron. That's two thousand dollars to you. And in just a moment, you're going off to the money cards for one hundred forty-four thousand dollars. Kyle, we give you two thousand dollars and our congratulations. Okay. Thank you. All right, now, Cameron. Way to go. First time's charm. Yes, it is. Always. Well, you, well, Cameron. I'm going to explain the rules to you for the money card since this is your first time. Uh. 
Okay, it's played just like the Bob Eubanks version, only difference is we're playing for $144,000, okay? Okay, what we're going to do is this. We're going to start you off with $1,000, and you're going to work your way across the lower level and predicting whether those cards are higher or lower than the ones before. You're going to do that for the next three cards. And then after you go through those three cards, we move you to the second level and we give you $1,000 of new betting money and you will work your way across those three cards, predicting whether those cards are higher or lower than the ones before it. Now, as you know, $50 is the minimum bet. And you must bid in $50 increments until you get to the big bet in which you must bid at least half of your money. And if you need help along the way, if you mess up along the way, you got those three help cards to help you out in case if you want to change a bad card, but you can only do that once per line, okay? All right. Any questions, Cameron? Nope. All right. Um, do you, um, which number do you want to pick from one to 52 to cut the deck? 38. Going 38. Hopefully that's a good cut. Once the cards come on the board, we give you your $1,000. All right, there it is. And for $1,000, your opening card is a three. Let's do all of it higher. Okay. All of it hot, higher than the three. It's an ace. $2,000 an ace. Mm. I am feeling pretty confident. Let's do all of it lower. Sure. All of it lower than the ace. It's a four. You have four thousand dollars and a four. Higher than a four. It's a king. Good. You have seven thousand five hundred dollars. You did good in the low level. We bring you up to the next level. Give you a thousand dollars. You have eight thousand five hundred dollars now, and you have a king going. The whole nine yards lower. The whole nine yards lower. Okay. Everything lower than the king. It's an eight. You're up to seventeen thousand dollars in an eight. Let's go with card number three. He's going to change the card. Okay. The eight becomes a nine. Now you have $17,000 in that nine. Um, $8,000 lower. You said $8,000, right? Yeah. $8,000. Okay. Lower than a nine? Yes. A seven, you have $25,000 in a seven now. Number one. You can't change it because you already changed that line on that line. Okay. Well. Oh, geez. Uh, 5000 higher. A lot of pressure, ain't it, Cameron? All right. $5,000 higher than a seven. No. Okay, so four. All right, we bring you up to the second level, or the third level. You have $20,000. Now, the question is, do you want to keep that four, Cameron? Yeah, no, I'm going to. Now I'm able to change it, but I am not going to. No change? Okay, you must bid at least $10,000 on this play of the cards, but you can bid more. What's your big bet? I'm going the balls to the wall higher. For forty thousand dollars or nothing, higher than a four. Yeah. Woo. Nicely played. Well, Cameron, that brings you up to forty-two thousand uh, dollars. Cameron, good job. And, uh, Cammy, you'll get to play our next game on our next episode, okay? Yeah. All right, guys, this is Rodney1279 signing off, saying be safe 
be careful and thanks for supporting my channel because without you guys none of this will be possible good night everybody Card Sharks has been an RCD production.